Hey guys, Xiaomi. Today we have Sonia debut. She was summoned fresh off the patch a couple hours ago, and right now she's max skill. She's ruined up, and she is ready to go. She has a very interesting passive: increased enemy chance to glance, very similar to Douglas. But this unit will be scaling with speed, and instead of self cleanse or revenge. She'll gain attack bar. After testing, I realized that you only gain 30% attack bar flat, which means if the enemy is a Molong, he'll glance you three times with a skill one, you will still only gain 30% attack bar. Skill to ignore defense with a condition. I really don't like the condition because the damage is okay and the cooldown is long. Skill one has speed debuff. Which is good. She is a fast, speed scaling, damage dealer kind of thing. But then she has a resistant leader, and she also awakened into resistant. But then one might argue, with her awakening and her leader skill, she get maximum resistant pretty much immediately. In high rank content, I think max res is not gonna be that important. But in lower rank content, maybe that's gonna make a huge difference because she will not be debuffed that easily. So when you build her, you need her to have good speed. To use the passive because if you don't have faster speed than the enemy, the passive is completely meaningless. You need damage, especially attack power, to ignore defense, and you need some accuracy for the skill one slow debuff. Or you don't have to care about that. Depends on you. So I have damage on water. I have crit damage. Let's jump right into it. Let's go. Fifty thousand. That is okay, I would say. I think some Molong will survive that. Maybe a Molong with damage reduction from wind will probably survive that. I'm not exactly sure if that was impressive. I think that is okay, but for a skill like that to have a condition, I'm not exactly sure. I want the Theomas to hit my uh, to hit my my girl though. Glancing, I like that. So as you can see right there, we got 30% attack bar, but we got a violent proc, so it doesn't really matter. Without attack buff, can I ignore defense the Theomas? We ignore defense, and he glance again because he has slow debuff, so he's way slower than me. And I violent proc again. Wow, crazy! <laughs> and we gain attack bar, and we ignore defense because Theomas doesn't have a whole lot of defense on him. Huh? Am I cheating right now? Okay, so I'm gonna finish this guy. I think we have ignore defense ready once again. I really hope that the skill has lower cooldown, though. To be very honest. Oh, glancing. So it did no damage whatsoever. Unfortunately, I think they can give her a bit more in the passive for a unit like this. I really think she need to have self speed buff to make her passive worthwhile. Because when you compare to Douglas, a unit that rely on attack power, most of the build nowadays they don't really care too much about attack power. That's why Douglas is really good against CC com because everyone build with speed, HP, accuracy. But if you need to be faster than the enemy, then that's going to be an issue because almost everything is built with good speed. Even the slower unit like Molong should be built with some sort of speed going on over there, right? So now I'm gonna put her to a test against a fire unit that will target her, but then I'll give her speed buff so that she can make this guy glance. Okay, let's see how many glancing hit we can achieve. We are about I would say 30, 40 speed faster than him. Not too much, but I think that is more realistic. Usually I don't think you can get that many more speed unless you're on swift build. So we have speed buff here. Please don't violent. I would really appreciate if you don't violent. Um, so we're gonna go for the ignore defense on Savannah. Can I do that though? I'm not exactly sure. We got the ignore defense. We didn't violent proc. So I want to see the the glancing hit from the from the Ken, right? Can he glance? I don't think I saw a single glancing hit. <laughs> I don't think I saw the attack bar increasing effect on my on my on my girl. Okay, let's try again. Because he's gonna attack the, the battle angel again, right? Okay, can you stop procking my team? Relax a little bit. I think we saw one glancing hit. But he applied branding, which means in the three hit, he had 
the the hit that didn't glance. So is that good or that Savannah had slow debuff? Okay, it still crit very easily on the Battle Angel. Okay, I have a bad feeling about this unit to be honest. Glancing, very nice. We got slow debuff over here, so we are way faster than him. I want to abuse him again. I want him to glance me, okay? I, I want him to survive and glance me. I'm going to have speed buff over here. Can you don't kill him, please? Thank you. Can you don't kill him? But from our test, we got some decent glancing over there, but not the best. A lot of defense nowadays have speed lead, so being able to outspeed the enemy by a lot is not going to be very realistic because you have to build crit damage and attack to do good damage with the skill too as well. I'm not sure if a speed attack attack build is going to be good because I think with speed attack attack, she will do probably not a whole lot of damage. Okay, let me try to... I think I'm going to go straight for her to dismount her immediately. Like, I did 43k on this because I don't have artifact damage on wind element. So with speed attack attack bill, if you don't crit, I think at best you are doing about 20,000 damage in our defense. And you have a three turn cooldown as well. So I don't think it's going to be the most... Um, can you relax, girl? Wait, can I hit the Molong? Can I try? We didn't ignore defense. And I think this Molong has not too much... Not too much defense. So we got some attack bar gain right there, but because she's a damage dealer, she's not exactly tanky. So I'm not sure, like, I don't think she's a good tank. Her damage is okay. I'm putting her in a position where she's not really threatened in any way. But in RTA, it's going to be very different. In guild content, I guess she's a decent win, ignore defense option. But I don't see a reason for me to use her over, like, Odin. Is there a reason for me to, to use her over Odin in this position right here? I'm not exactly sure, to be honest. Or Savannah. I think Savannah or Odin is going to be really, really good. Like if I were to use Odin, then I wouldn't worry too much about glancing or elemental disadvantage. Right, guys? So we're going to do that. He glanced me. That's pretty good, right? Theomas is not very famous for glancing, but that guy didn't glance me. That's troublesome. Okay, we slow him down a little bit. We slow Theomas down. I guess the debuff is is a nice touch because slow debuff is really good. The Molly glance us as well. Can I finish the Theo? We ignore defense, but glancing, unfortunately. But we finished this guy. So I would say... How would I put her? I think she's more of a 6 out of 10. Like I wouldn't mind using her. She's not terrible, but she's not amazing. You know what I mean? She needs both attack and speed buff, and that is not very easy to get nowadays. Um, okay, I don't like that. Like, there are not many units with attack and speed buff. And I don't really want to use the Wind Barbaric King in this team, because the team right now is very well built. We have protection, we have damage, we have everything. Except for speed buff. Okay, I'm going to try to kill Molly. Nice crit. I really wish... If she kills something, then she can reduce the cooldown of the skill to by one. I think that will make her so much better. Because right now her cooldown is a little bit too long. Like I'm proccing a lot of violent. So the cooldown doesn't seem that long. But I think the cooldown is a little bit too long. And I really hope she awakened into crit rate. I think that will make her so much better. I'm going to try this combo out. Wait, what will happen? <laughs> What will happen? So right now we are fast, okay? By fast, I mean fast. And we can one-shot anything we want. I'm going to go straight for the Praha. So we're really fast. The Tessan shouldn't... It glance a lot. But we only gain 30% attack bar. And we can cleanse the Oblivion. But I can't exactly kill this guy. Oh, I can slow him down. Just kidding. Can I stun? Big stun. I'm going to go for the turn on her because I need a skill 3 back quickly. Can I slow you down? That'd be nice. I'm surprised my 10 accuracy is working way better than I thought it would be. Okay. 
that is a little bit troublesome. Seeing how he, he's ready to... Oh, are we fucked? Are we fucked? Ah, without our passive, we still ignore defense, no problem. Okay? Don't get... Hey, uh, uh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. So right now, I'm not exactly sure how she is going to fit into the meta just yet because I don't know who she's going to tank. I mean, she's okay as a wind damage dealer into Molong, Wusa, Molong, Molly kind of nonsense. I guess that's one of her big selling points. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god, dude. I wish I can strip or hit through any of that. That'd be so cool. Okay, okay, we're getting some attack bar increase, but now we have the slow debuff, which means our passive is kind of gone, to be honest. Can I have some glancing over there? Your block doesn't really matter. Oh, so. Wait, because we have speed buff, but we have speed lead, but that Nana apply the defense break a little bit too easily, I gotta say. A little bit too easily. Uh-oh. Guys? I have a feeling that we are fucked. <laughs> I have a feeling, oh, I can't even do anything. So in a game where I'm supposed to win, one slow debuff and you're done. One slow debuff and your passive is meaningless. So, <laughs> that was not good, man. That was not good. All right, we're going to go resistant leader, okay? We're going to go resistant leader this time. And we're going to bring a speed buff. Okay, speed buff for the boys. Do some damage. Actually, I'm going to kill Mo Long. Hopefully, I can kill Mo Long right here. Oh, this one has a lot of damage reduction against Win. So, I barely damage him properly. As you can see right there. We didn't... Oh, wow. Can I ignore defense? No. So, even though I have 1500 attack bonus on a violent build, you need to have speed as well. I can't really ignore defense of Molong without the need, without the without the attack buff, which is kind of troublesome because I really don't. I really <laughs> wish there was no condition to begin with because right now I can't really use the skill two properly. I have to spam the skill one, which is not a very ideal thing. Unlike other unit which has ignore defense skill, you can just use it whenever you want. Uh oh, all right, we're gonna finish the Molong here, glancing, make it. Sad and no damage. No damage once again. I'm I'm loving this. Without the ignore defense, we are not doing any damage. I wish her passive would allow her to have some sort of bonus damage. I think that would be really cool. Oh my god. I think we are faster than this guy, but the glancing is not applying. I think it's even worse. Than... Oh, we can't. But should we go speed attack attack bill? I think that's just not good, right? But then, if we go speed, attack, attack, we can ignore defense better. She's hard to build. <laughs> She's just hard to build. But that's my first impression. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.